Hi folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. So I did promise that I would start doing more videos about armour, and I will. I have to be honest, it's really hot, at least by UK standards, it's hot at the moment. And um, uh, putting my armour on is even less attractive um, to me than it normally is. However, a little simple point. So I've often mentioned how armour, particularly plate armour we're talking about here, so we're looking at the 14th, 15th, 16th centuries primarily, um, has to be fitted, or doesn't have to be, but is preferably fitted to the individual. And what I'm holding here is a greave. Now it's often said that certainly for the earlier period of plate armour, the greave, uh, certainly the fully enclosed greave, is one of the hardest things to make. Uh, it's quite a complex thing. It's not just a tube, okay? And if we just look at the shape of this thing for a second, so that's that's the front of my shin, that's looking at my leg from the side, and that would be the back of my calf. Um, it opens up thus, thusly, stick my leg in there, it clips shut, the front greave goes over the back, so it's um, closing in there, and then it has little buckles and straps to hold it all together. Um, and the greave really is a complex piece of forging to do. If you look at it, it's um, it's kind of going flaring in and out and bulging in and out in ways that are quite difficult to forge and quite time consuming. Now it has to be said balancing that, greaves tend to be made of thinner steel because um, you want them to be fairly light and generally speaking you're, you don't require that much heavy protection usually in the shins um, and certainly at the back of the, of the calf you generally don't need as much as you would at the front of course. Um, but you tend not to get the heaviest hits in the world down there. Uh, of course you do get hit down there, although if you're wearing armour someone's probably less inclined to hit you in the legs because it's not going to do as much um, if you, uh, compared to if you weren't wearing armour. Um, but leg armour in itself, if you think about how it goes onto the leg, it's essentially this goes round my lower leg and then the upper leg sits over there, which I'll show you one day, I'll put it on in, in order and the upper leg is then essentially suspended to either my jacket or to a suspension system or belt uh, around my waist. So it's essentially hanging off a belt or hanging off a jacket, but these are kind of not, and you wouldn't want them to be, because that would create an awful amount of friction at the knee and be very uncomfortable. So essentially, the only thing holding this in, in place in terms of being comfortable and firm and secure on your leg is that it should fit like a glove, or in this case, fit like a greave. Um, and in actual fact, in this case, a greave needs to fit almost better than a glove fits. Okay, so this really needs to fit your leg. And if it doesn't, they are a pain in the ass to walk in, run in, or fight in. They jangle around, they would want to sit on the top of your foot and on your ankle joint, really nasty. In actual fact, what you want to happen is you want your leg to fully fill this, so that there's no weight carrying down onto that very vulnerable and relatively weak um, joint at the bottom of your foot, where your foot joins your leg, um, but rather you want it to sit completely bound by friction to your leg, um, not being held up by anything apart from that friction and the fact that it fits. So, greaves. Uh, there's far more to them than you might initially think, and they Really, it's one bit of armour that you really want. If you want your armour to work well, this really, really needs to fit you very, very well. Uh, and whilst you can buy leg armour off the shelf, um, sort of lower end, cheaper end armour, um, I would really advise you to save up a little bit of extra money, particularly for the greaves. The upper legs are much more forgiving in my experience. Um, you can have basic sizes of upper legs and knees and anybody can use them because I mentioned they hang essentially off, off the, the belt or the jacket. Um, but the lower legs have to fit you really, really well, much like gauntlets as well. So um, gauntlets and greaves, guys, uh, important to get them fitting you really, really well, really, really snugly, and to be shaped to your body and uh, no one else's. Cheers. Click subscribe now and also follow us on Facebook.